and Jasmine. Football is good. You know, what has it been like this last few weeks and months getting settled? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's, I mean, I'd probably say it's been a whirlwind of six months again for me, and it's it's been a crazy time. I think coming over, it's it's not always easy um, to come over and get acclimated right away and get into the group, and you're meeting new friends, and you're coming into a new system and all these kinds of things, and it was tough at first, but then for me, I think it was having the confidence of my teammates and my coaches, and that's what kind of helped me push on to the point by winning the two trophies and and playing well, so I think that my coaches and my teammates deserve a lot of credit, and yeah, I'm just I'm really thankful for the six months that I had. Next, we go to Michael Lewis from Pro Rosa. Hey, Brendan, congrats on the season. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, I think, I don't, I think off the top of my head, I think it was like 11 or 12 Americans in Europe won trophies, which is an unbelievable number. And I don't think that's been really done before in the past. And you're seeing at where they're playing at, and they're winning big trophies, and it's 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 huge, and it's a really big step in in uh, U.S. football. So I'm um, I'm really excited for the group of guys, and now it's just pushing on to the Nations League and then winning a trophy with this group of guys. So that's the biggest thing right now. It's the main focus for everybody here. And I think everybody's really focused and ready to go because, I mean, this nation league's big. I mean, we can meet Mexico in the finals, and Honduras is going to be a big game. So, yeah, for me, I'm confident. I'm ready to go. And, yeah, I think the team is too. First of all, we're thrilled that Brendan reads our press releases. Thanks a lot, Brendan. <laughs> Nine players won a total of 12 trophies. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, next, we'll go to Paul Tenorio from the Athletic. Yeah, I think that the place that I am now, I think this happens a lot. You know, I think that it happens to a lot of players here. I think people move in and out, big transfers, coaches leaving, that kind of thing. And I think it's all part of the process. It's it's all a learning process for me. And I'm, I'm kind of just going on this journey of whatever happens, happens. And I, it's for me, it's to go in there and prove like I did to get into the lineup. Because, yes, Jesse helped, but I don't think he treated me as an American guy. Like, oh, he's going to give more of a chance. He treated me like just one of the teammates. So... I had to go in there and I got the trust of my teammates, which is which is huge, and the coach too. And now that I just have to do that again with the coach, and I'm excited to get ready to go. I I think the coach is gonna the new coach is gonna be great for us, so it's it's gonna be good. And yeah, I'm just ready to go for the new season, and we'll rebuild and we'll we'll be better for next season. Yeah, uh, good question. Uh, for me, it's, I mean, for me, the wing in 10 is kind of, well, like at club, it's kind of the same, you know. I think coming off the sideline, being between the pockets, that's the game that I play, you know. It's turning between the lines and playing the final ball or getting the final shot. So anywhere I can get in those positions is great. And playing the left wing in the, the system that we play in here is also like a 10-2 a coming back to get it, kind of turning in the pocket. So... I don't really see myself as a winger. I don't see myself as a center attacking mid. I'm just a guy that you put me in those spots and I'm going to do whatever I can to get goals or assists and continue to get better at them. So I'm not really focused on where I'm going to be. It's just wherever I play, I play. And I'm, I mean, I'm, 
I'm going to give my all in that spot. Next will be Ronald Blunt from the Associated Press. Yeah. Mm. No, yeah, that's definitely what this is about, you know. I think that it's preparation for all of us. We haven't done it. A lot of us haven't done it, you know, and it's it's good preparation and it's really tough and it's hard on the body because you're traveling, what, eight hours back to the United States over a flight and then you have to get out of the flight and then get ready for a game in three days. So it's one of the toughest parts about football and, and the play, playing for your national team. But, I mean, it's always an honor and I think that you're going to do whatever you can to get on the field no matter what. And I think that... For us as a group, it's it's really good and it's it's a good kind of test, and I think we're going to do well with it. And I'm I'm really confident with the group of guys that we have. Next will be Sanjay from the Yanks or Country. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Brendan. Uh, Greg talked. We don't have Brian's question. Uh, Greg talked yesterday about continuing to develop the break brutality part of your game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that, yeah, I mean, at Salzburg I've been used as more as a left attacking mid, left wing, and <clears throat> it's it's a new spot for me, but I think it also fits my play style. I, I like to get in behind. I like to, to, yeah, just to run in behind, make stuff happen through that, but also come back to the ball and get it between the lines in turn. So I think that the way we play in this system, I mean, with me and Gio, I think, He's the same way. He can get in behind. He can also come to the ball and make stuff happen. So it's it's really it's really a good formation, a good system for us to kind of I think blossom in and, and do really well in. Next will be Charles Bone from MLSsoccer.com. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I think, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think that for me, I think, like I always say to everybody, I'm always focused in the moment. And when that time comes, that time comes. And for me, it's it's focused on Salzburg right now because we have a big season coming up. We have uh, we only have one game to play, I think, to go in the Champions League as of right now, which is Champions League is the top of the top. And that's something that I'm, I'm really focused on and I want to get into. And then also Europa League too. So I'm not really focused on transfers, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm extremely happy with where I am, and I think I'm in a perfect spot to continue to get better as a player. And, yeah, I mean, I'm going to continue to keep getting better and to test myself and to go from there. Yeah, uh, good question. I think that the thing that kind of comes to my head and what I got tested on as soon as I got here is it's a higher pace game here compared to the MLS. And I think that that's kind of something that kind of maybe goes a little under the radar is MLS, a lot of teams will sit back a little bit, but in the Austrian league, you have teams that even though you're the top team in the league, you have guys that are flying at you. You have no time. So for me, I think the time that I've been here, my decision making in the final third is just got quicker and faster and I'm making that final decision and I think it's coming off really well too. I think the stats that I had for this part of the season were really good and I mean I want to continue to get better at that but it was a half a season and I'm, I'm really proud of myself and I want to continue to just kind of grow from there and yeah my I feel like my game is going to continue to get better and that's something I'm going to continue to work on.